Good day everyone, today I will be discussing the law of cosines. In law of cosines, we will be needing this table. So I will, I will explain to you this table. We have the law of cosines. We have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Wherein small letters indicates our sides and big letters indicates our angles. So notice in our law of cosines, if the unknown is C or side C, therefore our given are side A, side B, and the angle C. Angle C. Then we will be needing that formula. The same case in finding side A and B. If we're going to find the side A, the given must be side B, side C, and the angle A. And of course, this one, B squared is equal to A squared plus Z squared minus 2AC cosine B. Again, if we're looking for side B, angles, uh, side A and C must be given, and of course, the angle B. Now, to find that, since this is our love sign, uh, love cosines, to get our side, just extract the square root. So get the square root of that. So C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. The same thing as if you're going to find the angle A and angle B. Now, if the unknown is the angle, so we're going to use the following formulas. Okay? So... If the unknown is angle C, so inverse of cosine, quantity A squared plus B squared minus C squared all over 2AB. Same case, angle A is equal to cosine, uh, inverse of cosine, quantity B squared plus C squared minus A squared all over 2BC. And angle B is equal to inverse of cosine, quantity A squared plus C squared minus B squared all over 2AC. Now, to further understand, let's have our first example. So, our first example will be our case number one. If we have given two sides and an included angles. So, we have our oblique triangle here. So, angle C is equal to 130 degrees. Angle A is unknown. Angle B is unknown. And side A is equal to 7 centimeters. We're going to find side C, measure angle B, and measure angle A. And of course, side B is equal to 4 centimeters. Now, let us find for side C. So, letter A, side C. Side C, letter A. So, C is unknown so we're going to use this formula so c is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c given our given our side a so our given a is equal to 7 so 7 square plus b our value for b is 4 so, 4 squared minus 2 times A is 7, B is 4, cosine C, so angle C is 130, so 130 degrees. Now simplify, so C is equal to the square root of 7 squared. 49 plus 4 squared, 16, minus 2 times 7, that is 14, times 4, that is 56, cosine 130 degrees. C is equal to square root of 49 plus 16, 49 plus 16, that is 65, minus 56 cosine 130 degrees. Now, insert in our calculator, square root 
square root square root of 65 minus 56 cosine 130 press equal sign so that is 10 point 10.05 so approximately 10.05 centimeters 10.05 centimeters after finding our side C we can now find our measure angle B and measure angle A measure angle B Unknown angle, so we're going to use this formula. So measure angle B is equal to inverse cosine quantity, just substitute A is 7, so 7 square plus C, we have C 10.05, 10.05 square minus b is 4 so 4 square all over 2 ac our a is 7 substitute times c is 10.05 okay now measure angle b just insert in your calculator so we have Press shift cosine, shift cosine to get the inverse of cosine. Then quantity 7 square, that is 49 plus 10.05 square minus 4 square is 16. Okay. Okay, let us repeat. So let us first simplify our expression here. So 7 square inverse cosine. I'll simplify this first. So we have 7 square. 7 square plus 10.05 square minus 4 square 2 times 7 times 10.05 okay that is equal to 0 0.95 0 0.95 Get the inverse, shift cosine, so shift cosine 0.95, that is, uh, measure angle B is 18.19 degrees, so this is angle, so we need our measure, uh, our degree measure, yeah, that's it, 18.19. After getting measure angle B, we can now get measure angle A. So all we need to do is to subtract 18.19 and 130 to 180 degrees. So, measure angle A is equal to 180 minus 130 minus 18.19. Now, we have 180 minus... 130 minus 18.19 so that is 31.81 degrees that would be the measure of angle A so that is our case number one if the given are two sides and an included angles next our case number two what if all the sides are given now let's have our example number two, which is our case number two. What if all the given sides are given? So we have here our oblique triangle A, B, and C, wherein 
Side A is equal to 7 centimeters. Side B is equal to 10 centimeters. And side C is equal to 5 centimeters. We're going to find the measure of angle A, measure of angle B, and measure of angle C. Let's start with measure of angle A. So if the angles are unknown, we're going to use the following formulas. We're looking for the measure of angle A, so we're going to use the second formula. So angle A is equal to inverse of cosine, then substitute all the given sides. We have B squared, our B is 10, so 10 squared plus C, C is 5, so substitute 5 squared minus A is 7, so 7 squared, all over 2BC, so 2 times B is 10, and C is 5. Okay. So angle A is equal to inverse of cosine, then simplify these expressions. So we have 10 square plus, so 10 square that is 100 plus 5 square that is 25 minus 7 square that is 49 all over 2 times 10 that is 20 times 5. 100. Now we have inverse of cosine, inverse cosine, 100 plus 25, that is 125 minus 49 divided by 100. So 125 minus 49, that is 76. 76 divided by 100, that is 0 0.76. Now, inverse of inverse cosine 0.76. So in our calculator, shift cosine 0.76. So angle A is equal to 40.76. 54 degrees 40.54 degrees After getting angle A we can get now measure angle B so measure of angle B So angle B we have here inverse cosine a squared so a squared that is 49 plus c squared 5 square that is 25 minus b square is 100 so 10 square that is 100 all over 2 times a is 7 times c is 5 okay now inverse cosine simplify 49 plus 25 that is 74 74 minus 100 minus 100 that is negative 26 all over 70 so we have cosine 26 over 26 over 70 so that is negative 0 0.37. Now shift cosine negative 0.37. So angle B is equal to 111.72 degrees. Again. Press in your calculator, shift cosine negative 0.37. Or if you don't have calculator, just install in your phone different applications. Uh, calculator. 
Next, to find the measure angle C, so all we need to do is to substitute 111.72 and 40.54 from 180. So 180, 180 minus 111.72 minus 40.54. And that will give us 27.74 degrees. 27.74 degrees. Now, to check your answers, if you're going to get the sum of angle A, angle B, and angle C, the sum must be equal to 180 degrees because the definition of a triangle, all the total of the angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So that is the law of cosines. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.